Waffle TV sponsored by West. I'm Livia Karen and we're here at Brooks Bar in Pleasantstone with Mark Kearns. Mark, you've got a show at the moment called God vs. the Mind Reader, which is a pretty yeah. tantalising title. <laughs> um, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Um, I mean, the show is basically, well, I'm a mind reader, that's what mm -hmm. I do for a living. And um, the show is the story of something that happened to me over the last few years. Basically, um, my wife at the time found God one day, um, mm -hmm. sat me down and told me that you know, three months or so earlier she'd converted in secret. Um, and this is, you know, my job is to make people believe things that aren't true for a living. Mm -hmm. And this was really, um, as someone who does that, my attempt to understand why it is that people believe things. Um, yes, and uh, kind of explore that through the medium of mind reading. So this show is really interesting because you, you kind of com combine your own personal story yeah. with examples of mind reading using the audience. Yeah. So we're going to do a bit of mind reading. I'm going to start off, prepare the mind reading, and then okay. you're going to reveal it to me at the end. Well, we'll give that a go, yeah. I mean, okay. kind of what I was thinking was I'm, I'm going to get you to think of um, a number. Okay. Any number you want from 1 to 100. Okay. Jot it down, um, tear it off, put it in your pocket, something like that, and just keep it where I can't see it. Okay. Right. One to a hundred. Done. I'm going to do my best poker face. Okay. And basically, right. I'm kind of what I'm hoping is that over the course of the interview, you know, something will happen that mm -hmm. maybe sort of towards the end we'll be able to, uh, to yeah, to read my mind. Yeah, <laughs> we'll give that a go anyway. Yes. So, in kind of recent years, there's been this proliferation of uh, alternative healing remedies and new spiritualities. And in your show, you're quite adamant that you are a fake, that what you're doing is not real. Mm. Do you think there is any truth behind the mediums, the clairvoyants, the TV psychics that we see today? Well, I, think, I mean, you know, I can't, I can't prove there's not a genuine psychic out there. But yeah. I think, you know, given that organisations like the James Randi Foundation have, you know, been saying for years, if, you know, if you come to us and we agree a set of, by, of criteria by which we will judge you as being psychic, um, and we agree that, and then you allow us to test that out, you get the million, million dollars. You know, um, that's never happened. And to me, I think, until I have evidence that someone is psychic, you know, it's just not something I'm really t willing to invest any belief in, given that I know how it, easy it is to make people believe I am psychic, <laughs> mm. when I know full well I'm not. The show is, is described as unashamedly sceptical, mm. and there definitely is this underlying endorsement, I suppose, of atheism or agnosticism. Sure. And you talk quite a bit about psychology and the way we create ideas of larger beings. Yeah. Do you think that religion is something that can be seen as entirely psychological? I, well, that's, that's my opinion, mm -hmm. yes. Um, you know, I, you know, I think, um, you know, that's, that's my world view, and that's the story that I'm telling. Um, mm. And, the, you know, one of the things I talk about in the show is this need for closure that we all have, the need to understand things and make the experiences that we have fit with our world view. And, you know, I, I frame that in terms of the experiences that people have when they're having their mind read during the show. But this whole story is really about me just coming to terms with, with my ex's finding God and, yeah. and what that meant for me. Because, you know, to me, I had certain assumptions about what religious people were like and, you know, and this put those to the test, I guess, you know, and, and I had to learn more before I understood really what had gone on there.